Greetings, all Shar Vixen, and I am playing Fallout New Vegas. And we need to find the doctor, then go back and get the dog, and then bring the doctor to the doctor. No, oh, I won't talk to you. It's boom. I'm wandering around, sorry. I'm wandering around crazy like, crazy like. Crazy, crazy like. Sorry for the bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. So, um, I have an infection in my left ear. And, um, apparently my ear on my right side is also a bit plugged. So, um, I hope that this comes out where I sound okay. Otherwise, it'll be me yelling. Because I can't hear myself at all. Looks like an okay thing. Alright, so, hmm. Don't talk to the knight. Well, I'll talk to you. Bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. <laughs> um, okay. Do you have a problem with humans? Who's the other human you mentioned? Really? I didn't think he bought he mentioned another human. And what do you do here? Dr. Henry, he's one of you. Go speak with him instead of me. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Humans are always staring at things. We Nikon don't like being stared at. He's uncomfortable. Oh, well. How does that make you different from some humans? Uh, stare at silently at him. That seems really rude. I don't, I'm not gonna stare silently at him. It is different right now. I'm trying very hard to remain civil, and you're not making it easy with your incessant questions. Questions, questions. Who's got questions? Okay, well, another the one. The boys we use have cumulative adverse effects on our minds. Jacob's Town was supposed to be a sanctuary, a place to find a cure. Instead. Wait and wait. I'm sick of waiting. Oh, that sucks. I'm sick of waiting, too. What do you do here? I represent the Nikon. Marcus may leave this town, but the Nikon listen to what I have to say. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean I don't respect Marcus for what he's trying to do. However, he doesn't truly understand the difficulties of being a Nikon. Okay, well, I think we're done here. Goodbye. Fine. Because you didn't try to eat me, and that's all good. All right, let's go find the doctor, which is over here. Dun, ba -dun, dun, dun. I think he's over here. Yeah, there he is. Dr. Henry. I assume this is about something important. You're interrupting my research. You look a lot like the other guy. Are you a brother to him? Doesn't he look like the other doctor that saved you? Something's wrong with my cyber dog. I was told to come to you. I don't see him with you. Bring him to me, and I'll take a look. Otherwise, I'll just be guessing. Okay. What are you working on? Night can have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth board use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population since they seem to have developed a natural stealth deal. I've also gotten my hands on a working stealth boy Mark II prototype. But that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. Okay, I'd like to help. What do you need me to do? The stealth field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject, and Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. Does a stealth boy use does does stealth boy use hurt humans? It's possible, but I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on nightmare. I don't use any stealth boys. Um so I don't read these and sometimes they come up really well, um, 
I don't, I don't read the other ones. I read mine, but I don't read them because I think you guys can hear them. And I'll know when I watch the edit version of this when I look at it before I put it up. And if not, then I'll change that aspect. But right now, unless I don't, you know, change my mind in the middle of this, which I could. It's my prerogative to change my mind whenever I want. So why are you helping the Nightkin? Because Marcus asked me to. And because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning. I'd like to get one more grand accomplishment done. Cool. Um, I'd like to help. What do you need me to do? I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one. And I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well. But they've come back empty handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big harness to Night Stalker attacks and would enjoy a little revenge. Great. <laughs> what makes you think that the Night Stalker mutation is not natural? Guess what? I compared the brain chemistry of a Nightkin to one of the local Night Stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that Night Stalker running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. All right. Let's talk about something else. Yes, we must. Uh, you're a scientist. Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. Canine neurosurgeon. Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. You were with the Enclave? Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. Let's talk about something else. If we must. I'm surprised to find another human here. I prefer the solitude, and having a bunch of super mutants around tends to keep things safe and quiet. All right. Goodbye. Yes. Alright, so this is a point in which I have to get rid of some of my companions to pick up the other companions, and then I'll pick up companions again. I don't want to activate the terminal, do I? Oh, night case. Astonishingly enough, the local night stalkers have developed a mutation not unlike the stealth field generated by the stealth boys. Even more importantly, the brains I've dissected have shown heightened levels of endorphins and other neurochemicals, similar to what I have seen in the nightkin brains. If this mutation is natural, perhaps a cure could be synthesized from the night stalkers. As far as I can tell, the night stalkers don't suffer from schizophrenia like the affected nightkin. Hmm. Mark II prototype. The Stealth Boy Mark II prototype is functional, sort of. The Enclave data wasn't complete, so I had to make a few guesses here and there. Unfortunately, the data also suggests that while the Stealth field has a greater duration, the negative effects on the user are ex exponentially greater. I can use this to my advantage. The brainwaves change will be more pronounced and it will be much easier to figure out what exactly is needed to cure the nightkin schizophrenia? Lily has graciously followed to be my test subject despite of the risk. Keen seems to have caught on about the Stealth Boy Mark II prototype. I told him that it was in no way functional, but I'm not entirely sure he believed me. I'll have to keep my eye on him. Well, trouble, trouble, trouble. The world is full of trouble. Alright, so I have to go find Lily. Subject E. Diagnosis complete. Begin recording. My name is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe Reinforcement Project for the combat model iBots. Um, sure, continue. iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was canceled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I'm sending this model to the Navarro Outpost. Continue. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Well, there you go. Do you need to go to Navarro? Uh, talk 
two, attack two. Use my be aggressive. Wait here, attack two. Um, play back. Put a call. Wait, open. Open. Um, and companion protocol. Okay. That's fine. Alright, so, and then also I have to get rid of Boone after I find Lily. Which I think she's outside. Open. 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 I think I'll stand here for a minute. Okay, so, let's see, we have to find Lily. Lily, 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 there she is. I think that's her, yeah. Talk to Lily. Jimmy, little Jimmy, my, how you're grown up. So good of you to come visit <laughs> Lily's my second favorite. Who's Jimmy? I think you have a confused with him. Oh, of course I have, dearie. How silly of me. I didn't take my medicine yesterday. How can I help you? What do you do in Jacob's town? I watch over the big horners. They're sweet, gentle creatures. But sometimes they get ornery. Just like my grandkids. I'm looking into the Night Stalker mutation. You want to come along with me? Yeah, well, wait a minute. Goodbye. Talk to you soon, dear. Okay, where's Boone? Alright, Boone, you gotta go. What is it? Um, we hear you miss. Um, I have No, I think we should part ways for now, Boone. Yeah, that's what you think. Yeah, that's what I think. You should head back home. I guess I'll be around Novak for a while longer until I figure out what I want to do with myself. See you around. Okay. Okay. Now I'll take on Lily. Hello again, dear. I'm like, okay. Ooh, those night stalkers always carry my big orders. It'll be nice to get them up to some my mind. Yeah, but I got something else to do at the moment. South Coast Perk. Ha! Ah! Uh, Alright, so that's where I'm hauling the end of this video. I'll catch you all on the flip side. Ciao.